especially the week before. So today, it's going to be a little bit nicer, and the winds will be a bit more. 1 degrees, 73 down into Fullerton, and about 73 down into Huntington Beach as well. We have a big warm-up to talk about just in time for the holiday, and then also some more Santa Ana winds that are in the forecast, too. We'll have more on all that coming up in just a little bit. Giovanna, back to you. We'll see you then, Brianna. Thank you. We'll okay, so I don't know how much of Thanksgiving is going to be feeling like, but it's going to be pretty nice if you do like the warm weather. So we'll talk about that in the seven day. But before then, we're going to be getting just a couple degrees going to happen. You see all these high clouds that are moving across Southern California today. As we head into tomorrow, we're not going to see too many changes. We'll still be uh, sitting under that ridge of high pressure through the rest of today. And then heading into tomorrow, we're not going to see too much. It's going to be another really nice afternoon with some more seventies out there. It's not until Wednesday night, we'll start to see some changes. We're going to see some winds picking up, some Santa Ana's returning. That will take us into Thanksgiving. It's also going to warm our Thanksgiving. We're going to pop it up to about 80 degrees. Friday, going to be very similar. Still going to be warm. And then we'll get cooler heading into the weekend. Long range models showing we may have a couple opportunities to see some rain next week the afternoons. They're cool until Wednesday and then especially Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we'll start to move into some low 70s. So it's getting warmer, Giovanna. Okay, Brianna, thank you. It's going to be warm, uh, very warm for this time of year by Thanksgiving. So uh, you can get the flip-flops out for the holiday because we're talking temperatures in the 80s by Thursday. Next couple days are going to be very mild though. And today's actually going to be a not too noticeable of a change, but you see all these high clouds behind me over Anaheim and California adventure. Keeping us just a little cooler today and as well as some weaker Santa Ana winds. Still a little breezy in some spots, but that's also going to help keep some heat at bay today. It's about 73 degrees there out into Disneyland. And you see a lot of high clouds streaming overhead here. Dry long range models. What we are looking ahead to is next week. We do have a little chance of some rainfall. We don't want to get too excited because this is a long range model and a lot can change before then. So right now it looks like we might have a couple opportunities next week, uh, but by tomorrow or the next day we could have zero opportunities. So uh, we'll keep you updated as it gets a little closer, but just wanted to let you know that that's one of some more moderate Santa Ana's are going to be Wednesday night into Thanksgiving. So heading into the holiday, it is going to be a little windy if you're in the wind prone spots and it's also going to be warm. Today's going to be a really nice warmest day of the week. Friday's going to be very similar and then we will see some cooler weather and a little bit more of a drop in temperatures as we head into the weekend. But it's going to be a really nice holiday weekend all around. Valleys and Inland Empire and tonight and then it will start to get a little bit uh, warmer overnight. Still going to be below freezing though, but we'll start to see those temperatures moving into the upper 20s instead of the low 20s. Still very cold, Giovanna. Yeah, that is cool. Thanks, Brianna. Here bracing for uh, terrible afternoons at least, but yeah, hopefully the mornings will be pretty nice because a lot of people are going to be traveling in the afternoons for sure. So far, not so bad this morning. So yeah, we'll keep hoping for some easy morning commutes here. Uh, if some people took the week off work, that would be nice to have some light and westbound. No other major problems to really talk about at the moment, guys. So I'll send it back to you for now. All right, Bree, thank you. Problems out into the Inland Empire. Los Angeles has actually been pretty quiet so far this morning. Now that problem out in Chino, that has cleared, uh, but we do have a couple cars moving right along. It's pretty empty. All right, guys, I'll send it back to you for now. Sounds good, Brianna. Thank you. To the Inland Empire this morning. Those have all been cleared. See, that's some great news. And then uh, Los Angeles has been fairly quiet up until about right now. We are seeing a little bit of a backup. This accident is in the Los Feliz area, but we're starting to see some backup uh, as early as the Glendale area on the five southbound. We have an accident here and we have the number one lane that's blocked at Los Feliz Boulevard. We have a car that's facing the wrong way as a result of that. So they're trying to get that moved off to the shoulder. So just a heads up on that five southbound, you're going to encounter a little bit of extra slowing. Let's get a look outside. It's up on the 91 westbound in Orange County. This is out in the Yorba Linda, but it's also affecting your commute in the Inland Empire because that backup is backed up uh, pretty much to about Corona. So as you're traveling through Corona on that 91 west, you're going to start hitting some slowing uh, before before you even come upon that 71 connector. So we do have the fast lane that's blocked at the 241. Typically we start to see some traffic picking up uh, shortly after this time. So it's a little early to start seeing some of this backup and you don't have many options traveling through this area and this stretch of the 91 West. So just make sure you leave early for that because we do have that fast lane that is blocked off. So far, but they've all actually gotten cleared pretty quickly. 
This one, we're still seeing quite a bit of a backup, though, and it's affecting your commute not only in the Inland Empire, but out into the Orange County area as well. On the 91 westbound, we have the backup all the way to about Corona to the 241 connector, and so it's moving very slowly. We had an accident here. That's been cleared. It's been moved out, but we're still seeing some of the damage done, and it is moving a little slower than usual until that starts getting a little more moved along, but now we're heading into rush hour, and it's just that typical time of morning where we start to see traffic get pretty backed up here on that 91 West. But if you're leaving out the door any minute and you're close to this area, make sure you leave a little early before we start to really see that recover. Guys, I'll send it back to you for now. Okay, Brianna, thank you. A devastating update this We're talking about one of those areas you just hate to see an accident because it's always a tough commute here. It's the 91 westbound through Corona, and we are seeing traffic pretty bad right after you pass that 15 connector. I see we have an accident there at Green River Road. The number two lane is blocked, and it's just a lot tougher here in this area than we typically see on any given day. So you might want to consider taking some side streets, trying it around some of this. You might want to consider Green River Road and hopping back on there, but that is where the accident happened. And it's just moving very slowly. Either way, just make sure you leave early through that area. Aside from that, on another section of the 91 West through Long Beach, we have another accident that to report here. All right, enjoy your drive this morning before it starts to get really, really tough out there this week. Guys, I'll send it back to you. Yeah, Brianna, it's going to be a rough week. And of course,